Hello everyone, Pally Time here. Welcome back to Hogwarts Legacy. We did our first herbology lesson in the last episode. And as the title of that video suggested, it was an absolute delight. I absolutely loved it. My plan was to go straight into potions class, but I, you know, thought that maybe Michael Magus might need a little bit of a break. So we're starting off with a bit of exploring today. There was a quest to meet up with Nat Sai south of school. And I'm just kind of heading that way right now, just seeing if there's any secrets that I can find along the way. I'm sure me running into rocks and things was a very cinematic way to start this episode. Well, that's the kind of quality you get from 5 a.m. Walter who can't sleep. <laughs> Quest isn't very far away. Let's catch up to Nat's eye. This looks intriguing. You know, I will admit that I definitely Lucas. judge my fellow students based off of the houses that they are in. And I try not to do it. I try to see qualities of all of them outside of their house colors. Like Sebastian in the last episode, who really took one for the team and didn't rat us out even when he was being pressured by Peeves. But I gotta be honest, I did gravitate toward <sighs> Nat's eye more naturally. I mean, she has to be brave, right? Hello, Natty. How are you? I hope you've recovered from our rather eventful trip to Hogsmeade. I am well, but I have been worried about you, my friend. With Ranrock and Rookwood and Harlow after you? I'm all right at the moment. We did not speak about it at the time, but I am hoping now you might tell me why they were looking for you. Well, great question. I can't say at all. <laughs> also, considering all of those people are looking for me right now, maybe just roaming around unsupervised around the countryside isn't the best thing from that, that I could be doing to keep myself safe. Just going to put that out there. Sorry, uh, can't say magical artifact. You know how this goes. I've never met Rookwood or Harlow. Perhaps they mistook me for another student. Hmm, a bit odd. The two of them pursuing a Hogwarts student so intently. But whatever the reason, you were clearly in danger. For now, it is safe to say that Rookwood and Harlow are a threat to both of us. To all of us. Which is why I wanted to speak to you. Okay, I'm I listening. I realized something that day in Hogsmeade. You displayed such courage fighting that troll, and Sorona wasn't intimidated one bit by Rookwood and Harlow. Both of you have inspired me to take a stand of my own. What sort of stand? Men like Rookwood and Harlow are the reason my mother and I left Matibili land. I am not going to sit by and watch them destroy my new home. Are you about to do some evil magic on non-wizards? Is that what I heard, heard there? Uh, you know, this could be dangerous. I'm just going to say that right now. Bring some Hufflepuff sensibility into this situation. Rookwood and Harlow are a dangerous pair on their own, and the fact that they're working with Ranrock, well... All the more reason they must be stopped. Oh, she wants to stop them. Rumor has it that Theophilus Harlow runs Rookwood's day-to-day -day operations. Taking him down would cripple Rookwood's entire enterprise. That may be true, but shouldn't Officer Singer handle someone like Harlow? I spoke with her. She was polite, but perhaps understandably would not discuss details with a student. I overheard some of Rookwood's lot talking about a massive poaching operation that Harlow was planning. I was thinking that we could investigate a bit, try to get the evidence that Officer Singer needs. All right, but how? I am going to watch and listen and find out precisely what Harlow is up to. I shall reach out when I know more. In the meantime, remember, I am here if you need me. Thank you, Natty. I will remember that, Natty. Also, this village we showed up to has three chests on the map. But if you take a look at the map, you can actually start to break down collections by area. So this place is called Lower, Lower Hogsfield, and it has three chests to collect and a demiguy's statue. The chest seemed fairly obvious. What is going on there? Hold on. They snapped my vision over to the side, some kind of camp off in the distance, but I'm doing the much more important thing of getting collectibles I'm never going to use out of chests, or at least that was the plan. That's a level one lock on that door. I can't open that, and someone's running their mouth on the other side. You never thought Ranrock's loyalists would go this far. You never thought Ranrock's loyalists 
that Tandala would go this Are you far. Tired for your story? What do you mean, little buddy? What's going right on? Here where I can see you. Pardon me, is everything all right? Hardly. I've just lost my business and almost my life. You'd best look elsewhere for wares. I've nothing to sell now. Oh, I never thought it'd come to this. Be on your guard. Ranrock and his loyalists will spare no one. Sounds like bandits. You. Oh, Ranrock has no patience for goblins who won't join him. While I too would like to see goblin kind treated by wizards as equals, bloodshed is not the answer. When I said as much, they turned on me, struck me till I nearly passed out. Took my carts, my belongings, even that which is most precious to me, my paintings. Oh my goodness, I know what it's like to cherish paintings and then have them taken from you, as do most people that play Divinity Original Sin. Uh, are you a painter? You mentioned that your paintings were taken. Are you a painter? I am. It's my calling, though most would think it an unusual path for a goblin. Most of my family work in metal, or associated with Gringotts. I'd wager my finest brush that Ramrock's lot have no appreciation for any of my work, and it'll be tossed aside for kindling. Without my carts and my livelihood, who knows when I'll be able to paint again. Well, maybe I can get it back for you, my dude. Has this happened to you before, though? Has Ranrock's lot ever attacked you like this before? They've been taunting and threatening me for a while now. But they've always believed that violence is the only way to get what they want. Things have taken a much darker turn of late. Ramrock is getting more powerful and his loyalists know it. They feel untouchable. Ramrock assumed that all goblins would agree to follow him. But he was wrong. Many of us would like a diplomatic end to the discord with wizard kind. Well, it seems like they're getting more brazen and more boisterous. We did hear a rustle across a little bit of water. Maybe that was where they took his paintings. I'll keep an eye out. I'm sorry this happened to you. I shall certainly keep an eye out for your cards. That is very kind of you, but I think they took them to their camp southwest of here, just past some ruins. Too dangerous to try and retrieve them. I did enchant the carts to return to me if I ever lost them, however. Slim though the chances may be, I'm holding out hope that some of what was taken is returned to me. <laughs> that it makes me nice think that it, this isn't going to be a one-off thing. We're going to be finding his carts Rebellion. all over the place. In fact, one of them seems to be right here, tipped over in the water with a chest still inside. Let's make sure we don't return that to its rightful owner. How am I any different from the bandits? Right out of the storybook. Uh, After what Ranrock did to that goblin banker okay. at Gringotts, I shouldn't be surprised at what happened to Arm. I do have a plan. I'm not just roaming around for the sake of roaming around. Uh, we are going to re-equip the disillusionment charm and see if we can sneak up on whoever is occupying this camp. A little bit of... Was that money? No, I skipped a rock across the pond while being invisible. Now, if I get too close, these guys will be able to see me as we learned about in the restricted section of the library. You know, it's funny, I went in there on the original Michael Magus just to get the collectibles for the chest that I figured out how to get to during that episode. I couldn't figure it out. And the restricted section is not being guarded by ghosts all of the time. <laughs> I just kind of walked in there. I didn't need the disillusionment at all. Well, it seems like we might actually have to talk to these guys. No, they are bandits. I no saw them on the map. you think I might have seen? I've been busy with my research. I do not have time to... Victor Rookwood, don't give a doxy's nip back your time. Oi, speak of the devil. Oh, come on. Mr. Rookwood would like a word with you. I was invisible. You can't be so... <sighs> Enough out of you. Leave her alone. Superfy. Um... Lady, they are literally three feet in front of you, and you sent a stupefy into the ground. Sorry, I had to rub my face. I had to process what I just saw for a second. Okay, we'll start with an incendio into a deflect, into a stupefy. This guy's on his ass already, and these primary attacks are getting through what defenses he has left. The Accio takes him off the ground. We finish the combo, then levitate him again to keep him going. These guys got bodied. Put me right. You wanna you wanna get the killing blow? I'll let you do it. Oh, that doesn't look as good though. 
Is this the elite? I'll watch the light go out of your eyes. What are you wearing? <laughs> Wait, there's even more coming down the stairs. Uh, what is this? The collection section of your field guide has been updated with a new enemy type. You may learn valuable insight on enemies such as their weaknesses to certain spells. Uh, we see a red shield. Oh, can't dodge out of the way of that one. Or can't deflect that one. Gotta dodge out of the way. Okay, I'm just gonna line of sight the red shield until I can get close, which we're closing in on it now. Incendio into it to break it, bring her into the air and try to finish them off. That's perfect. I'm gonna use some ancient magic on this guy just so I don't have to deal with him and then stupefy the spell back at him. Incendio's ready though. Let's share the love. <laughs> kinda like the combat in this game. What on earth just happened? I've never been accosted in such a manner. Then so close to Hogwarts. Yeah, I was just talking to that little dude over there about it. These guys are getting more bold. They're just taking from everybody. They're setting up camps here in broad daylight. Are you all right? I am, thanks in no small part to your excellent defensive skills. Care to tell me why two Ashwinders were ready to dispatch me to get to you? Ashwinders? Victor Rookwood's thieves and extortionists, his little cronies. They seemed quite keen on you. It's a long story, but thank you for your help. Hmm. Well, you've avoided them for the moment. Priya warned me things were getting dangerous. Best get moving on my research before they return. Well, I, I mean, I don't think they're going to be returning. We killed them, right? <laughs> Uh, research? What are you researching? You're a researcher. Nora Treadwell at your service. Historian and archaeologist specializing in Merlin's work and life. Oh, Merlin. That is actually... You know, I always thought Merlin was a myth. I thought that Merlin and the tales about King Arthur's court were a myth. Mere myth? <laughs> You're lucky Sir Cadogan didn't hear you. Chatters on endlessly about his connection to Merlin from his portrait at Hogwarts. Merlin attended Hogwarts, you know, and I'm studying wow. some curious fixtures he left here centuries ago. Fixtures? These vine-covered pillars, dozens of them all around the area. I've taken to calling them the Trials of Merlin. I believe he created them as a diversion for his fellow Slytherins. <laughs> he was Slytherin? terribly fond of puzzles and enigmas. Merlin was a Slytherin. No way. You know, one of my favorite movies growing up was The Sword in the Stone, where you see Merlin helping a very young King Arthur as he uh, tries to pull the sword from its resting place. Such a great movie. I even watched it a few years ago as an adult. It holds up. You yeah, haven't seen it. I highly recommended it. Uh, well, how fascinating. Thank you for it enlightening me about maybe Merlin's personality a bit more. Maybe he's just ambitious. Maybe that's why he's a Slytherin. I can see why you're so interested in Merlin. I'd be keen to know more about the trials. Well, then, I'll let you in on a little secret. No one has yet managed to figure out how they work. But I believe I have just unlocked a crucial clue. What is that? I suspect that Mallow Sweet is an important component in getting the trials to work. Mallow Sweet? Versatile herb. Merlin repeatedly mentioned it in his writings. I had just arrived to test my theory when I was so rudely interrupted. So you have some on you? See, each swirl in Merlin's writing has a symbol in the center. That started me thinking, what if... The Mallow Suite is meant to be placed at the center of the symbols. Precisely. Would you care to do the honors? We can see what comes of our little hypothesis. Bro, I'm not even a Ravenclaw and I'm coming up with ideas. Mallow Suite with me. It's just over there by my tent. Oh, this is your tent. I literally thought there was a, this was a bandit camp. You know, I this guess trouble. you shouldn't judge a book by its yes, cover. take plenty, even if you already have some. Well, that's very nice of you. I don't I have think the suite. I had any before. Now, notice the vines on these pillars here. Oh, well these are the pillars. Stone swirl on the ground. Stone Each swirl on the ground. Has these features. Place the mallow suite on the swirl and we'll see what happens. You know, when she was talking about this, I was envis envisioning massive pillars like towers I could climb or something. 
not little torches, but okay, I'm I'm still game. So I just put the Mallow Suite down right in the middle here. Here we go. <laughs> yes, that. Yes, Emma, just like uh, that. Did you see that? The vines <gasps> disappeared. What should I do now? Hmm, this is uncharted territory. Mm, it's getting a little dark. I think we need Lumos. Lumos. These pyres. So on the stone beneath me, there are four green circles. In front of me, there are three torches. What if I pull them to me? Levioso didn't do anything. If I get off of this, does anything bad happen? Okay, I'm just gonna go see if I can light the torch maybe. The flames make the pyre sink. There we go. That does make sense. And we just have to do that one more time. Maybe two if there's another one hidden somewhere. Okay, running down that hill. No, that looks like it was it. Oh, that's beautiful. Yes, how beautiful. <laughs> hey, I thought the same thing. What a day I can hardly... Is this Merlin? Revelio. I want to talk to Merlin. That seems so cool. I take it we can call that a success? We can indeed. However, I now have even more questions. How does it work? I must review my notes. I may have missed something. Are all of the trials like this one? Oh, not precisely. Well, I think each has those telltale vines and the swirl on the ground. You should feel free to solve them as you come across them. I believe I have what I need to continue my research. My guess is that each will also require Mallow Suite, which you can find in Hogsmeade should you need more. I really must be off. Such a pleasure to meet you. Well, that and was wonderful. Lumos. Now, I've got what I needed. I shall return to the safety of my notes and books. I think you need to be the one that's careful out here. You were the one being attacked by bandits. After all, oh, look how fast she's packing up. That's the magic I need. Oh, we have another person sitting on the docks over here as she apparates away. Maybe we're for, for, far enough away from Hogwarts that apparition is allowed. Assistance. Hey, what's up? This is Grace Pinch Smedley. Hello, can I help you? Oh, thank goodness. Yes, my name is Grace Pinch Smedley. Of the Bath Pinch Smedleys? Okay. I was hoping someone would come <laughs> along soon. I was about to defy my father's wishes and would never have forgiven myself. This feels like a you trick. See, I need to retrieve something from the bottom of the lake. Yes. Might you be the one to help me? Well, did you try an Accio? Uh, <laughs> I don't want to. Okay. I've seen the Goblet of Fire. I know what kind of crap lives in this lake. I know what's in the depths. And I have a problem with that. So I, that doesn't sound too appealing. Why don't you get down in there? You want some gillyweed? <laughs> I'm afraid I'm not keen on mucking about at the bottom of lakes. Oh, please don't say no just yet. Perhaps if you understood my plight, you'd change your mind. Okay, Perhaps. what is it? What precisely do you need to retrieve and why? Years ago, my grandfather, who fancied himself quite the astronomer, set sail from Hogsmeade Station for what was meant to be a quick stargazing cruise with my grandmother. They never returned. Oh so my sorry. goodness. What happened to them? We can't be sure. We only know that neither they nor their boat made it back to shore. They were presumed drowned. Father was so distraught that he forbade our family from setting foot on or in the Black Lake ever again. A treasured family astrolabe vanished with them that night. If you could dive down and retrieve it, I may be able to bring my father some peace. I don't know what an astrolabe is. What exactly is an astrolabe? It's an astonishing ancient navigational tool. Essentially, a handheld model of the universe. It's mainly oh. used for studying the stars, astronomical pursuits, but it has nearly a thousand uses, 
fascinating device. Sadly, I'd imagine it's rusted beyond repair now. Still, we'd love to have it returned to us. It would be like getting a bit of my grandparents back. Well, I do know the spell Reparo. <laughs> so I might be able to do it. I'm not going to ask her who our family is. That seems a little insulting. I mean, she has a Slytherin, but there's no reason for us to be rude. Yeah, I'll think about it. I don't know how to go into water, though, girl. What do you want me to do? It sounds dangerous, especially for something of mere sentimental value. I understand. But I'd be forever grateful. Of course, you may discover much more than the astrolabe. Anything else you found would be all yours. I've cross-referenced the vessel's last alleged location against the lake's topography, depth charts, and tide schedule. My best guess is that it's just over there, about a furlong from the dock. It would a be furlong? to have my grandfather's astrolabe back. What the? A furlong? I do hope you find Rebellion. the astrolabe. It would mean so much to our hmm. family. It sounds as if her astrolabe is just northeast of the dock. I should dive down and see. If it's just northeast of the dock, then how hasn't anyone else found it? If it's just northeast of the dock, then why? She explained why she can't go in there herself. I just think it's a dumb reason. Lumos. Okay. One step at a time. My knees are still touched. Uh, okay, water's up to our waist now. Okay. This isn't that bad. Why don't you just cast Accio a bunch? <laughs> Wouldn't that fix it? Oh, God! Oh, no! How do I go on? This must be where the Pinch Smedley family astrolabe is. Yeah, yeah, what do we do? Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Okay, if I can't go in the water, odds are there's nothing in the water to attack me. Right? We'll just... Gather up all this stuff right here, lickety split. I've gotten some really nice school uniforms. You know, her it, <laughs> her locket thing is so valuable and precious that she wants it, even though it's rusted because it's been underwater for so long. But I'm just taking these clothes. I found a family astrolabe. Oh, I did find it. I did find it, and some healing potions as well, which we did kind of need. There's one more of these little squiggly things right here. Little air bubbles. I don't know why those glasses were letting off such a disturbance in the water, but I'm also not going to complain. Nice! A sun hat! A dark sun hat! <laughs> the dark sun hat is level 11. It has 24 defense, though. Uh, my current sun hat only has five! The light sun hat sucks! Yeah, we did a good deed, but is there a spell to, like, evaporate this water off my clothes? I find the dive too terribly difficult. Well, I trust you didn't even try! Hello, Grace. I followed your bearings on a dive in the Black Lake. Oh, how incredible! Did you find the astrolabe? You know, I found that I noticed it with an earlier conversation we had with Natsai as well. Because this is an open world game, we made it seem like we searched for the dive for a long time, but in reality, it was right there. And, you know, when we were talking to Natsai earlier, she was like, that day at Hogsmeade. Natsai, that was yesterday. We were at Hogsmeade yesterday, Natsai. What are you? Ah, uh, yep. Here you are. I did. I hope it makes your father happy. It will. I can't wait to see his face. Thank you so much for doing this for me. And for my family. You do well to keep an eye out for more spots to dive. A diver of your caliber is certain to find all sorts of things <laughs> down there. A diver of my caliber. Thank you again, oh, Rose. And I just, do hope you keep diving. You seems like she's being sarcastic now. <laughs> So I have a plan. I'm just going to follow the river south. There's another little village, eventually, that meets up with the river. 
So I figured I would just go along the bank, loot some crafting supplies as I go. I don't know what Moonstone's for, but now I have it. And then we can unlock these fast travel routes along the way. So I should only have to do this one time. Now, I am pretty sure that I'll be able to fly in the future. Like, we can unlock flight with our broom. So I'm not going to go too far. But this is kind of fun to poke around in. Revelio. Bro, is this loot? Is this treasure right here? Why can't I loot this tree? What? What is this? Collection updated Niffler. Oh, it's a Niffler stash. <laughs> Come here, little guy. Akio. Well, aren't you just a fantastic yes, beast? Do you get it? That's a Harry Potter joke. There's more bandits up ahead. I just used the disillusionment charm to fade. Actually, they're wolves. I just saw enemies. Wolves up ahead. They might be able to sense me with their smell as I'm closing in. But no, doesn't look like it. That's a triple kill with Incendio. Bro. Also, what in the heck is this supposed to be? Accio? Are we pulling it out? What did that do for me? Something shifted over in this direction. Oh, I think that must have opened this. Looks like this was sealed off before. Oh, this is some kind of tomb. Bro, I'm, I'm going to need some light in here. For sure. This place looks Very sketchy. Much. I like how I can be invisible and bring a light with me. Just in case. This looks like we're going into an Elden Ring catacomb almost or something. Legitimately, I think I've seen places in New World that look like this. Okay. Okay. Why do I feel like the floor is about to fall or something? That doesn't look right. Incendio. Lighting that fire. Oh, we did light up the room a little bit. Can I hit this too? He's just being finicky. Revelio. Uh, okay, Revelio shows us a block up top. Accio brings it to us and it's lowering. Does it lower what it's near? That's actually so sick if that's the case. Oh, that is so cool. Okay. I'm just going to take what's in the chest. My gear slots are full. Dang it. Bro, I just went to Hogsmeade to sell. And my inventory is full again. We need to get some more gear slots stacked. But hey. We got an ancient scarf for solving this little puzzle. I've never seen anything quite like this with the floor so reactive to an object. That was really cool. There's a few people walking around on the road. I mean, this girl literally seems like she's in her nightgown sleepwalking. What is going on there? But, oh, hey. Oh, this must be the town. We're coming up on it now. This is probably a five minute walk to the south, just to give you an idea. And I stopped and I killed a few creatures along the way, but we went from here to here. So going to the bottom of the map at that same speed would probably be like a half an hour walk. That's actually a pretty big map, all things considered. Uh, I don't know what this town is. Although... Not sure how I'd fare in a little place like this. Ah, I think I would thrive in a little place like this. Revelio might tell us something. Accio. The Tilted House. The locals call this the Tilted House. due to the odd angle at which it sits, wrapped in the roots of an overlapping tree. Well, there's loot inside the Tilted House. A chest to the right. Hopefully nothing that would go into one of my gear slots. Revelio. Because I can't accommodate that. But. Oh, I'm just in here eating someone's Accio. food, too. 
But if we can find a flu flame, which it looks like there is one on the other side of town, this place will basically be permanently unlocked. And we can travel back here in just a few moments. Well, that was a pretty fun outing. I made my way back to the castle because we heard word that if we win one more of these dueling challenges, that we're going to become school champion. And I thought that would be a nice way to close off this just kind of free-flowing episode after exploring the countryside a little bit. We are going to have to wait. Apparently, they're not dueling in the middle of the night. But, you know, not my first time sitting on the floor inside of this castle. I think I'll be fine. That looks so cool. Can I throw people into that? You thought you could hide from me. Future champion coming through. Future champion coming through. That's right. Michael Danger Magus is here. Hey, is, uh, you know, the final duel ready? Because I'm feeling pumped, my dude. Hello, Lucan. Is the final round of cross wands ready? Big match today. It all comes down to this. The moment that we find out if your training and dedication is enough to win it all. Ready for a shot at glory? I haven't done much training and I'm not really dedicated to any school of magic, but let's give it a go, Lucan. I certainly am. Brilliant. Are you dealing with a partner? Absolutely not. I'll go it alone. Then let's get started. Is this going to be a 1v5? Am I fighting the entire classroom this time? Real victory. Oh, this guy just complimented me. Oh, it's literally a 1v4. Okay. Okay, this is the championship round. They're probably going to have lots of colors. Break through red shields with... We already know this. Yes, imagine that. Oh, okay, that's a lot of shields. We're going to stupefy that way. We're also going to Accio. I didn't mean to Levioso him. We'll stupefy on the right, buy us a little bit of time, incendio this shield away, and reflect the stun back into them as well. I'm gonna try to focus on Charlotte just to get her out of the fight if I can. Ooh, another deflect. I could have sent it back at another one of the kids, but I think we're holding our own for the time being. Although, if I can't, oh! Stupid. You're back up, are you? And then we'll keep the punishment going. Charlotte is out of this fight. We'll reflect back Leviosa. to the kid in the corner. Leviosa him so he can't attack. We broke the shield and got the stupefy at the same time. Lift him up. Keep him busy. And he was just out of range for Incendio. <laughs> I could just keep chaining this together. I could do this all day, boys. I'm not even breaking a sweat yet. All the content I juggle on this channel, I can multitask this, no problem. Also, stop trying to cast that. It's just not gonna work. Uh, I am going to keep him in the air. Let's bring him over to us. Levitate his friend and then we'll swap back over to Leander. He does land an attack. Am I getting too cocky? Perhaps. We'll stupefy his friend, lift him up, pull him in, and then hit him with a fireball. That's 136 damage. We send that back. He is finished off. I got a little worried. Accio to bring him in, hit him with the fireball, and then keep him levitating. As we become the school champion, come and collected Michael Danger Magus wins again. You've won the tournament. You got damn right I have. It was an, I just got lucky. No, I'm just getting started. I'm Michael D. I'm going to say it was an honor. I'm just pleased to have done as well as I did. And we're pleased to have such a gracious champion. Now to the victor goes the prize. He's really excited. And so it is my great honor to present you with this simple yet elegant token of supreme dueling accomplishment. Uh, I don't know that I deserve this. <laughs> no, thank you. Uh, what do I do with it? Thank you. It's been an honor. You earned it. You are a duelist to be reckoned with. Now that we've definitively crowned the tournament winner, I suppose I should get back to my schoolwork. Wonder how my herbology plants are doing. I haven't tended them in ages. Are you really acting like... 
getting all of your friends to try to fight me takes up a lot of your school time? This seems pretty straightforward. He still has some quests. <laughs> I'm wondering if I can interact with that. He still has some quests. I wonder if it's just to use the Hello, training dummy. I'd like to practice with the training dummy. Excellent idea. This time will be a bit more of a challenge. Ready? Bit more of a challenge for the training dummy? That'd be brilliant. Wonderful. I'll set things up. Remember to cast all the spell combinations before the dummy lands again. If you need to stop practicing before you finish all of them, let me know. All right, how is this going to be more difficult? Oh, they have my pull-in incendio levitate combo down already. We kind of came across that in the wild, but I wasn't leviosoing at the end of it. Uh, what's my next combo? It's... A Levioso into three attacks, Accio. into an Accio into a burn. That's it. I got this. We could do it. Accio, Accio. auto attack, burn, it's attack, 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 Levioso. levitate, attack, attack, attack. Lo okay, that one is getting hard. Okay, pull him in. Free combo after the pool. Accio. Incendio. Incendio. Triple hit, levitate. Triple hit, pull in. Oh! Incendio. Bro, I, it was on cooldown. How do you expect me to do that any faster? Incendio. Am I too good at this? I literally can't pull it. I have to do the combo slower to complete the challenge. That's unbelievable. I'm literally too fast for the training dummy. That is unreal. Okay. Now we attack. Incendio. Now we incendio. Oh, I'll just meander through these. Oh, with no urgency at all for my well-being. Come on, training dummy. You're better than that. Step up. Really challenge me. Impressive wand work. I take to face you in a duel. It's funny that you sent in all of your friends, but then you didn't fight me. Couldn't have done it without you. No, it's just a dummy. It was only a training dummy. True, but it's a difficult dummy. Believe me, I know. Seriously, well done. Training dummies will think twice before challenging you again. <laughs> yeah, but... Even though you won the tournament already, I'm glad to see you haven't stopped training. Stay sharp, my friend. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to do it for us today. Thank you so much for joining us. Michael Danger Magus and his Hogwarts legacy will continue very shortly. A new student. Hmm. I didn't see that coming. You know what else we didn't see coming is your legs fitting into that robe that way. Nice look. My dude. Well, you can't be beat, can you? Oh, no, actually, the school champion in fact Yes, it's true. It's official. Take care, everybody. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, and we will continue to explore Hogwarts next time.